Okay, here we are again with another anime reaction and this time with Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World. Yeah, this is like the controversial anime of the season because it has the special contract workers, I would say. Um, and yeah, I guess we will see how it goes. But I guess it definitely needs a master degree in editing for this anime, <laughs> for obvious reasons. And so I guess we will see how it goes. But yeah, if you like what you see, or if you would like to support me, Leave a like, subscribe, or a comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. Very bloody already. I wonder if this is like across the whole anime. Some kind of weird game. The good old M MMORPG Isekai. <laughs> Taka Michio. Michio. 17 years. Villager level 1. Yep. No footwear but a track suit. Awesome sandals. Convenient. <laughs> Yeah. Wait for the Skyrim soldiers coming out of nowhere. Oh! The sword! How convenient! In the hay! Let me guess it's overpowered. Inside a game, of course. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for the twist where he's not. Savage. The cabbage. If you remember... Konosuba, the cabbage is dangerous. Cabbage season. <laughs> Bandit. Lots of bandits. Was this the beginning we saw at the beginning? Level 41. Well, rip. You can see his equipment? Nice. So you can see beforehand if it's worth killing and looting. What the? He stabbed him under his leather. And here he goes and... Let's go. Oh! Holy shit! Definitely a shit game. Yeah, this is the beginning. <laughs> Did he see all the information? Okay, good, he practiced Kendo. Perfect. Oh my god, dude, this is visceral. They all became experience points. Yeah, he has like no hesitation because he's like, yeah, this is a game, a shitty game because it has so much blood apparently. <laughs> Holy hell. Level 2. Villager Thief Hero. A thieving hero villager. Quest. Come to my whole, uh, house. No instant teleportation to the quest, NPC? <clears throat> Some boots, swords, red bandana? Dang! That's nice. No skills. So it's pointless. Oh, he betrays him? Like. Not betray, but like. Give him the wrong item? Or someone else stole it. Oh, room, oh, nice. Yeah, right? He's like, yeah, let's sleep in the game. And here it comes, the plot twist. You can't escape the game. Because it's not a game anymore. And now, re re uh, now he realizes, oh shit, I killed those guys for real. Cannot return to reality. Final warning. Wait, what did it say? Final warning, you will not be able to return once you begin playing. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, no. Well? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I like my track suit just fine. This seems a bit sus. Oh. Here comes 
the realization. <clears throat> I just killed people. I mean, yeah, it was them or you and the villagers. Survival of the fittest. Mm -hmm. No matter what. Oh, he is a guy. Do they punish him? Or they ask him? Hmm? Yeah, why? What is this? Oh, that he's a slave? So this is like their card that tells everything about the person? Like your ID. Oh. Okay, that's... Nice, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I want to be nice, but I didn't know better. Oh, what can you do with those? Oh, bounties. Nice. Good advice, good advice. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. Don't lose a brat, dude. Once every five days. Oh, hello. I like her style. Oh, okay. He has to identify him. Okay. Does it have some crazy stuff on it? Okay, maybe not. It's just a normal card. <clears throat> doesn't it? Doesn't it have hero on his card? Wouldn't be that interesting because I don't think that everyone is a hero or that it's normal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Why? Brothels. Mm. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Hello, god damn it. Oh. God. Holy hell. Slave Traders Mansion. Okay, we go directly into the slave part. <laughs> wow, this anime is clearly uncensored. <laughs> A labyrinth was discovered near the town. Okay, so labyrinth appeared just randomly? Kind of like, so kind of like maybe in Black Clover, where sometimes those weird magic places pop up. Mm-hmm. Oh, he knows. He's like, you can't fool me. 30,000 nars. How much is that? Is that a lot or is it like, not so much? Right now we are missing like... A comparison, like how much is that? Is that is that a lot or is it like peanuts or something? I mean, he said he's a, he is in his prime, so thirty thousand. So I guess it's decent. Mm, exactly. You don't know what's what in this world. Good question. Imagine you get just sent to a different country out of nowhere and you don't know anything. You don't know the language or anything. At, at, le at least he has an, he knows the uh, he has language, right? It's not like that he can't understand a word. So that's at least something. Purchase some slaves. Makes sense. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Yep. Clearly uncensored. <laughs> physics. God bless physics. <laughs> oh, damn. Level 5. 
God damn it. Exactly, my dude. Just in this world, I would imagine even the real world. Because goddamn. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, the tea. <laughs> <laughs> by her instantly god damn what is her price can he buy her with 30,000 oh okay so basically kind of like a curse so the bandits maybe some of them were previous special contract workers <laughs> I guess that's true Wolfkin and a beast warrior. Oh, I guess that's where we want to go anyway. Based on the name of the enemy. <laughs> Is? Now comes the big part. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. <sighs> god damn it, dude. This anime. <laughs> More? There is more? Jackpot! Hello! Bye! Instant! Oh, really? So there are people with a conscience that don't see slay special contract workers as just special contract workers. <laughs> but it's like maybe more human? But how much is it? What is the price? Yeah, I mean, that's how the world works, right? Indeed, that's also something. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, he has like nowhere near that money. Here comes the kicker. There is a deal. Maybe. <laughs> oh, here comes the offer. Get me the money and she's yours. I keep her warm for you. <laughs> so, there must be a reason why. There must be a reason why. Why he is like, yeah, I give you five days. Get me the money. Maybe he knows. Maybe it's in like crazy amount that normally is way too much. But he doesn't know better. But he thinks that he maybe can get the money. So yeah, this was episode 1 of Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World. And yeah, I personally liked the first episode. I mean, you can't say, how can you like this stuff? It's not cool. But I think um, it's unique in the sense that it's not... That it's like something that there isn't much of in anime, right? <clears throat> and because of that, it widens the horizon for anime overall. And gives you the possibility to watch something that... There isn't much of, right? In that sense, I think it's unique and it's good that there is a chance or the possibility that you can watch it. Um, and yeah, visually, I think it looked it looked pretty good and especially those um, special focused scenes for the acquired taste um, definitely had some good visuals. They definitely knew what they were doing with those scenes. <laughs> and I would say... They, the episode gave us a lot of information, good information. Like basically everyone in this world has like an ID card on him uh, that you can like summon or whatever, um, make appear in front of someone. And so everyone has like his ID and it also gave us the information that in the first village where we started, basically like I guess maybe different villages have different rules, but in this village, if someone steals, he gets basically demoted in his like status in the world and becomes like one of those special contract workers um and the interesting part is that if one of those special contract workers runs away from his employee uh, employer then he gets demoted again basically to a bandit and the interesting part is we killed a bunch of bandits at the beginning and so i'm wondering are all those bandits those special contract workers or were they once those special contract workers and um if no then that means that normal people can become bandits 
right? So it's unclear. Is it is it like normal people that those bandits were a mix of both normal people and those workers? Or if it's like just those workers, right? <clears throat> so that's something interesting to think about, I would say. And um, something else that catched my attention is that when we were going through the city on the carriage, that suddenly the main character had like felt a change in the atmosphere or whatever. Um, and I wonder what that was. Because the dude that drew, uh, that was driving the carriage said like um, that there is a brothel, right? So I'm wondering, did our main character have a sense for that kind of stuff? For a brothel? <laughs> Like the spider sense, just for that kind of stuff, or is there something up, right? So that's something I'm interested in, what that was exactly, and <clears throat> the dude that, um, the dude that uh, hands out those special contract workers, um, don't know what to say. <laughs> Uh, what to call him otherwise um i think we didn't go to name he seems a bit sus he is basically like here he shows like his top worker right and it's like here we have her and she's very nice has a good character and she is also ready to get to know her employer better right so she is fine with it and she's also like never got close to a worker before so right you have nothing to worry about and it's like why is he giving us this deal because he's like yeah this cost six hundred thousand. and what we found out earlier is that we got thirty thousand, where one basically got demoted to like a worker right um so we got thirty thousand for that dude that is like young and in, in, in his prime and she cost like 600,000 so I guess that's like a lot of money already because the difference between 30,000 and 600,000 is ginormous and so I want we still don't have like a clear picture of like how much it is exactly like how fast can you get like 600,000 in this world right but I guess still it's like a very high price and he's like okay but I make you a special deal so I give her with the outfit you saw her in uh, for uh, 466,000 and he's our main character's like yeah but I don't have the money right and he's like yeah, yeah you know what I give you the special special deal five days come back with the money and you can have her so that's a bit sus because why is he giving this this main character the deal when it's I would say it seems like he clearly has not the money and he's not wealthy or anything so he must have a plan like some kind of intuition maybe where it's like this guy, I bet he can get some money, even if it seems unlikely. So maybe it's like a special deal because basically he takes this top worker and puts her aside just for us, basically, it's just for the main character, basically. And it's like, okay, I wait five days for you and don't give her to anyone else. So that seems a bit sus. If he has like ulterior motives or if it's like a test to see if this guy, this main character is special and can maybe get crazy amounts of money in no time. Um, so maybe it's like a test run or maybe, I don't know, maybe he's just a nice guy, which I don't think because ultimately it's all about money in that um, as someone that works in that field, right? In that work environment. Um, so I guess it's not that he's nice. So it must be some ulterior motive, I would say. But yeah, like I said, first episode, I think it was good. I can't wait to see where it's going, how things will play out with the money and everything. And yeah, if you like what you saw, or if you want to support me, uh, leave a like, subscribe, or a comment. I would really appreciate it. It would really help me. And yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.